Hi, Pflugerville Public Library members and all the kids who are joining Kid Sewing with Miss Chen from the Pflugerville Quilting Guild. I'm in showing the first project of our season and it's just a simple one, a nice little craft and it came to you in a packet like this. Inside the packet is a felt shape of a pink pig. You have a little spool of pink matching ribbon, a, ri a ribbon for the top for either putting a bow or being able to tie this to your backpack or a package, gift package. And also there are the instructions and we are making a piggy bank pouch pocket. And this part of your instructions are for a grown-up or an older uh, sibling to read to you. And this part right here is the diagram with step one, step two, step three, and step four. And that's supposed to say, I know it doesn't, right there it's supposed to say piggy bank pouch, but my G's got cut off. So this is the diagram. This is what comes in the packet. And step one says to match the top and the back, which is what I've done. There's the two. I've matched them pretty well. I think you can see. And I put the loop ribbon for hanging this on a, oh, a backpack or, uh, I wanted to tell you, you can do this either way. You can put the ribbon like in a loop, or you can put the ribbon this way so that you can tie it. But when you start to stitch, you want this to be caught in your stitches. So be careful. You could use a little bit of glue stick there. And also there's a little tail, a little uh, spiral tail for your little piggy. I pinned it on with safety pins too, and I think you can tell, well, I've got it lined up pretty well. And I'm going to start right here at the ribbon, and I am going to follow the piggy's body. Now, there are several ways to do this. If you're going to do this on the sewing machine, I would recommend that you follow the entire shape of the little piggy. But if you're doing this by hand, I recommend that you just make a little round belly which seals the top and the bottom and your coin slot is right here. And it doesn't have to just be for money. I, um, I like putting lifesavers or little flat wrapped candies in this and give it to someone with a birthday present. I'm going to show you my samples Here's a small one that I made, and you can see my stitches. I, my hand stitches are tight, and this is what we call the running stitch, or the straight stitch. My stitches are nice and tight and go all the way around to make a sealed pocket. And there's my slot for putting goodies in. And, but my little feet are free. And on this one, I decided to have my tail up, but on this one, this is a big one like the one we're doing. This one I did on the sewing machine. I can't, oh, I think I started right here on the nose. And I followed with the sewing machine very close to the edge. I don't know if you recall, but I said felt has a finished edge. It doesn't ravel, so you can get quite close to the edge of it. But what you need to remember is to capture your ribbon at the top and capture your tail on the end. And if you're working with a sewing machine and you want to include the feet, just follow along that shape. And um, oh, this one I embellished with a little heart. Uh, I guess you could say I, I glued it on. And this one is just hand stitching and it's a little bit smaller size. Now on this one, we're gonna talk about threading your needle. Now, I know it doesn't look like it, 
but the circle of space that we're going to sew is really quite long. So you may have to thread your needle more than once. Now, here's the needle. I've already put it through the eye. And remember, I, I think you shouldn't have your thread any longer than from your wrist to your elbow because then it's so long. So here, I'm gonna trim mine. It's a little long because it gets so long that you're just coping with loops. Here, okay, here we are. I think I showed you how to tie this before. You're gonna make a loop and you're going to, let's do it again. You're gonna make a loop. Okay, you're gonna make, <laughs> make a loop you know this is only hard because I'm trying to do it on a film there we go make a loop and push the little tail through it to make a knot there see it and pull it nice and tight and you'll feel you'll feel the knot I'm gonna take my little sharp scissors and trim the whiskers and we're gonna get started. Now I'm gonna stay close to the edge. What I wanted to show you was, this might help me remember where I need to sew. If you need to do something like this to help yourself make a line to sew on, trace the piggy. Make a place where you know the ribbon's gonna go, mark where the tail's gonna go, and then draw the circle, or oval in this case, that you want to sew on. And then you can cut that out and this will help you get started and you can use this as your guide I'm going to get started right here the first thing I need to do is catch the ribbon at the top now I don't want my knot to show so I am going to start sewing from the inside there you go see my knots in there okay and I'm going to do some tight up and down stitches. Now, this is a little bit in my way, so I'm gonna move it now because I have captured my ribbon. And I'm going to try to do nice, tight stitches. Now you can go as slow or as fast as you want. And you know, when we work together in, in the classroom at the library, we're under the the pressure of doing it all in a certain amount of time. But when you're working by yourself, you can take it slowly and be just as careful as you can. Now remember on this, you're trying to make a little pouch that's going to be tight enough to hold nickels and quarters or maybe some candies. And you can test your stitches by pulling like this and making sure that the that it's staying together and you want it tight but not so tight that it starts to bu buckle up there there we go make sure it's smooth that there's no loops on either side and that you can still see it on both sides here we go there see how it's cute little stitches now in your packet, I included some bright pink fab, uh, bright pink thread because this felt is extremely pink. And I wouldn't want you to have to go out and buy bright pink thread. Now, it doesn't mean you have to use pink thread. If you want your little uh, pork belly to show, you could use a different color. You could use white or red. Here we go. Now right here, I have caught the tail. This is one of the other important stitches. I have caught the tail, so I can take this safety pin out now. There we go. Now I've done about a quarter of the oval to close the piggy's tummy. I hope I'm not bumping the table and making the film shake. 
There you go. See, I can see that I've caught it on both sides. My ribbons are caught. My tail is caught. And it's up to you if you want your tail to be up. That's one way of doing it. Or you can turn your tail down. Now, I wanted to show you the different ways you can make use of a little project like this. This one I did with regular fabric on the sewing machine. And look what I did. I cut little tiny squares and I glued them down and I stitched them with my sewing machine so that it looks like a quilt. And then I cut it into the piggy shape and went around the edge with an overcasting, remember we talked about overcast stitch on my sewing machine and I put a button for an eye. Now when you get finished, you can use a Sharpie marker for an eye and maybe the mouth. I used a little dot of, I think I used a little dot of paint there. On this one, I did a little black button. And this one's a little different. He has a dart in his belly to puff him out fat so that I could put really good sized candies in there. And here's another one. I did a little dot of black paint for this one, for his eye. And there's a little slot. If the slot is big enough, you can put a, a gift card. There you go. See, here's my loop ribbon for hanging the little piggy. I did a loop on this one for hanging it on a, on a Christmas tree maybe or on a, a package. This one I can tie on a package. And this one, I made another one just like it and I gave it to a friend who was having a baby and I tied a little bow like a gift and I put a gift card to Babies R Us in it and I put it in an envelope and mailed it to her and it made a little gift. So this is a little craft if you want to uh, before you get started trace it and you'll have a pattern to make one of your own and you can make a gray pig a white pig you can do uh, fancy fabric you can try fancy fabric this is one that can that will be great done by hand or on the sewing machine and because we're working with felt there we go because we're working with felt, we don't have to worry about raveling. You just want to make sure that your top and bottom stay, stay matched as you go around. Now, I wanted to just, on this one, just make the circle that encloses the, the belly so that we can put things in there. I didn't really want to have to include the feet. And then when I get finished, I'll decide where the eye goes and I can put a little smile. Remember the smile will go under the nose, right there. The smile will go under the nose. So a little eye and a little smile under the nose. But this one is hand stitched so far. I've included the matching pink thread and I think it should be enough. Uh, I wanted to remind you that when you get to, when your thread shrinks down that you have to uh, re-thread it. Remember, we're going to make a little loop like this. See? We're going to make a little loop and then go back through it like this and pull. Maybe do that twice. There. Make a little loop. There's your loop. Go back through it and pull till it's nice and tight and then you, you want to cut it well you want to cut it really close but if you want your thread to disappear put your thread on the inside and trim it trim it right there there underneath now you'd get another long thread of pink and continue to go around the piggy until you get back up here. And if you have to re-thread your needle three times, that's how long it, that's how much it'll take. I think I gave you about uh, three yards of pink thread and it should be enough to make this little uh, piggy by hand. Anyway, fill it with what you will. Put dollar bills in there, put coins in there, 
you can tie it to your backpack um, find a way to give it to someone as a as a cute little gift and just remind you have an older brother or sister or a parent read this part to you you look at the instructions instructions with the little diagrams and this will remind you what you're going to do and which step and have fun with this one it's miss jen for kids sewing with the pflugerville public library and i hope you stay tuned for the next project in two weeks